I'm Chris Rich, and you're watching the Inside Track. I love Chris Rich. Today, I'm going to be breaking down the instrumental for uh, Sorry by Your Tug. So I uploaded this beat around January time last year, January 2020, and uh, yeah, they found the beat through BeatStars. So the first thing I started with was the string melody. So that is a four bar loop, just repeating over and over throughout the whole track. When I was making this beat, it was more of a, a New York sort of pop smoke style of UK drill type beat. So it was a um, it's more orchestral than New York stuff tends to be. So I was making a New York type beat, like a pop smoke, typical that sort of beat. So when they were looking for beats online, they were looking for a pop smoke type beat, NY type beat, blah, 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 blah. They were inspired by pop. And then the next thing I did was the 808. Yeah, wait, there's the kick. I think the main parts of what makes drill, like the new modern UK drill, drill, and the hi hat pattern. That instead of the t -t 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 normal hip hop trap pattern, it's like a, it's a new sort of bounce. And then the 808 sliding as well, the stuff like this, that just makes. And then also the offbeat snares as well. For my beats to be in another country and to be like a part of another scene is, is crazy to me, to be honest. A lot of the Ghanaian drill songs are like, they're actually really fire as well. Cause they're bringing a whole new sort of style to it. I found the Sorry record through Twitter because, um, I've sold a lot of this beat, so like I was hearing songs coming out like quite a lot of places and they weren't some of them were doing a bit well, some of them weren't doing really well. And then this this one, this particular song, sorry, um when I saw it on Twitter and the Twitter video had about four million views, I was like, damn, this this one's crazy. And then I saw they uploaded the music video on YouTube and that was doing quite well. I knew that this one was gonna be special compared to the rest of them. And then for the second half of the drop, in order to not make it so boring. I've added a vocal. Now this was inspired by Getty, the um, Pot Smoke Travis Scott song on the Jack Boys album. So this is the same preset used in there. This Vox. Just a vocal sample, but pitched up, it sounds like some crazy synth. Oh, when I made this beat, it was around the time Gatti had just come out. Gatti by Travis Scott and Pop Smoke um, had just come out. So I was trying to make a tight beat similarly to that. A pop smoke type beat, um, and this was while pop smoke was just on the rise as well, just before he blew up, and then just Chris before Rich. he unfortunately died. I caught it at a really good time because this was just before he he blew blew up, and pop smoke was now like a mainstream artist. This is just a synth bass, it's like a Reese bass. And then I have a piano following those exact same notes. The advice I'd give to anyone trying to start making drill beats are don't overcomplicate it. Like, as you can see, this beat has one, two, three, four, five sounds, and those are the main sounds six, seven, like the counter sounds, and then all the rest is just drops and the little effects and stuff. 
that's about five to seven sounds. That's not that many. Like you don't need to overcomplicate it when you're making a beat. Because I've heard a lot of drill beats and they just sound like there's no room for the artist at all to rap on it. I think it was when drill really started to get popular in the UK. It wasn't mainstream yet, but it was like it was just bubbling up. I decided to make drill beats, upload beats on YouTube, and they didn't really sell for a good year. Like I probably was getting maybe one sale every month, if that. Um, but I just carried on uploading them. These styles are good, man. Selling stuff on Instagram, it could work. You could do it, but once people started asking me for beats and you had to send stuff, and I'm like, I'm out. I don't have the files right now. I can't. Like it's just. It's a pain to keep track of. It's a pain to send people beats. So beat starts just sort of made it everything a lot easier for me because I could just upload it once, leave it. If it sells, files get sent straight to them. I don't have to worry about it again. If I, if someone asked me for a beat when I was sending stuff for Instagram, I'd have to find the files, upload the files, send it to them, make sure that they got it. And then even then they might say, oh, you didn't send me the right stuff, blah, 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 blah. It's just like, it's a pain. So it made it a lot easier for me to sell beats on and then I just carried on uploading, uploading the beats on YouTube and beats at the same time. The remix came out as well, which has Stormzy and Quezzy Arthur on the beat. I'm really happy about that. Um, I think it's sick that there's a big UK artist on the song. And a big Ghanaian artist as well, Quezzy Arthur. The boys just way too bossy. Double platinum from Vossy. Five times double platinum, get them off me. Yeah. I've been Chris Rich. Yeah, thank you guys for watching the inside track. 